Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. This is the first video in the second module of our web development series. And in this video, we're going to start designing our front page. So in the last video, we did some research and some planning to create this uh, website. And uh, in this video, we are going to start designing this front page. We will complete the design in a couple of videos. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go to the Google Fonts website. So this is the Google Fonts website and we will search for our fonts. So we'll type Roboto and these are the three fonts that we want. So we will select these three fonts. So we'll click on this plus icon. And here we have to copy this line of code and we have to paste it in our HTML file. And then we also need to have the font awesome CDN. So just type font awesome CDN in Google and uh, click on this link over here and you will land on this page. So you may have to enter your email ID and then you have to copy this from here and paste it in your index.html file. So this is my project opened in Visual Studio Code. So I have a folder named GT Coding and I have created two files. One is the index.html file and the other is style.css. Both are empty for now and I will also use an extension in VS Code called live server so using this you can launch a development server on your browser and whenever you save it will automatically be refreshed on your browser so with all those introduction we will get started with our index.html file so first of all we'll create our basic html file boilerplate so since i'm using vs code emmet is already installed in it so if you just type exclamation and press tab you will get this uh, basic HTML5 template. So this is done using Emmet. If you want to know more about Emmet, I also have a video dedicated to Emmet. And here we will change our title to GT Coding. And we will also link our CSS file. So we'll type link style.css. And we'll copy the Google fonts and the font awesome CDN. So just go over here and copy this whole line of code and we'll just paste it over here and then we'll go to our Google Fonts website and here we'll copy this link from here and we'll paste it in our index.html file. So now we have set up our index.html file. Now we'll go ahead and copy all the images that we want into our project. So I'll create a new folder called img. And I'll copy all my images in this folder. So I have copied all the images into my img folder. So these are all the images that we are going to use. Now let's start by writing the basic markup for our HTML document. So I will right click over here and click on open with live server. So our HTML file is opened over here. Whenever we type anything and um, save, it's going to be automatically refreshed on this browser. So let's get started. So first of all, we will design the nav bar of our website. So you will type nav here first of all we are going to have our logo image so i will give a division with an id of logo image and we'll have an anchor tag because when someone clicks on this logo we want to go to the home page and in here we will have an img and we will give the location as img logo.png and for our alt we will type gt coding logo so here we can see our logo we obviously have to decrease the size of this logo but for now we'll just concentrate on creating our basic markup 
So after our logo, we will create the menu icon. So I'll create a division and give it an ID of menu icon. And for the icon, we will use the font awesome icons. So we have to type I. And inside this, we have to give a class. So we have to type FAS, FA bars. So this is the icon that we are going to use. So here we can see the icon. Now we'll write our unordered lists. So in here we need to have five list items. So I will type li star five. So inside this we will create an anchor tag and we'll type home inside here. And we'll just copy this. and paste it over here and here we will type blog and in the same way we will do this for all our nav items and in the last list item we need to have an icon so we'll create a division with an id of search icon and inside that we will have a font awesome icon so we'll type class and we will use the icon of search so type this line of code over here so if i save this now we see that we have our nav items and the search icon over here so that's basically it for our uh, nav items now we'll create our mobile navigation so this is the mobile navigation we'll go over here and uh, outside our navigation we are going to create our mobile navigation so we will name it slide out menu so we'll type div and we will give it an id of slide out menu and we'll basically copy everything that we have over here so i'll just copy this whole ul from here and paste it over here so we have created our mobile navigation but we have to make a little change over here in the search button and the search icon so here we will have an input and the type will be text we also will have a placeholder and we will type search here then we will have a line break and then we will have an anchor tag and inside here we will have the font awesome icon so we'll type class equals and fs fa search and we'll save it so here we can see our input box and here we also have our search icon now we'll create the search box for our main navigation so if I increase the size of the window here this is uh, the main navigation and if I click over here we can see that uh, this is another search box so we are going to design that so after the navigation we will type div and we will give it an ID of search box and in here we will have an input and we'll also give it a placeholder and we will type search here so we have completed our navigation menu now we will write the markup for our banner so this is the banner we have an image over here and we have some headings over here so after our search box here we will create a division and we will give it an id of banner and we will create an h1 and we need to have a lesser than sign so we have to type ampersand lt and then we will type gt coding and then we will type a greater than symbol so this is our heading one now we'll create a heading three and here we will type learn coding from scratch now we'll create the main section of our page so we'll type main and here we will have a heading so we will give it an anchor tag 
and inside that we will type a heading we will create an h2 with the class name of section heading and here we will type all blogs then we'll create a section so we will type section and inside that we need to have a card so if i go to my page over here we can see that this is the heading that we have created over here and this is a section from here to here we have a section and in those sections we have a card so a card consists of this image this title this text over here and this button so these are the four things that are in a card so we will create the markup for that so here we will create a division and we will give it a class card and in that we will create a division with a class name of card image and in that we will create an anchor tag and in the anchor tag we will create an img and we will set the first image and we will type card image over here so if we go down over here this is the image in our card then the next thing in our card is the card description so we'll create a division and we will give it a class name of card description and in that we will create an anchor tag and here we will have an s3 and we will type the blog title here so this is our heading and below that we will have a paragraph in that we will have some lorem ipsum so we will have 30 words and after the paragraph we will have an anchor tag which we will use as an image here we will type read more and we'll also give it a class so the class will be btn read more so this is our card over here so let me just maximize this so now we will copy this and uh, paste it once more over here for the second card so this is the second block that we have and now we'll copy this whole section from here and we will paste it down below and here we will give a heading and we will get a class name of section heading and here we will type all projects and instead of the blog we will type project and here also we will type project this is the blog section so we have one card over here and then we have another card then we have the the all project section and here we will have two different projects and then we will create our source section so this is the source code section so we have a heading and a paragraph and a button over here we don't have any image so here we will have a heading with a class name of section heading and here we will type source code and after that we will create a section and we will give it an id of section source and we will create a paragraph we will add some lorem ipsum text and then we will create a button so we will use this anchor tag as a button and here we will type github profile so this is our source code section and the last thing that we need to have is the footer section so after our section here we will type footer and in our footer we will have two divisions so this is the first division and this is the second division so for our first division we will give it an id of left footer and we will create an s3 and here we will type quick links and below that we will have a paragraph and we will type ul we will have an li and in that we will have an anchor tag 
and here we will type home now we'll copy this li we'll paste it five times so these are all the list items in the left section of our footer now we'll create another division called right footer and here we will have a heading and here we will type follow us on and here we will create a division with an id of social media footer and we'll create a ul and we'll create an li and inside that we will have an anchor tag and here we will use an icon from font awesome so we will give the icon of facebook so this is the facebook icon we'll copy this whole list item and paste it two more times and here we will type youtube and github and below this division here we will have a paragraph and we will type so this is basically everything we needed to have in our footer so now we'll go ahead and change these images so for the first image we want to have one dot jpg and here we will type two dot jpg here we will have the third image and here the fourth image so if i'll save this we see that we have different images all right so that's it for the markup of our front page in the next video we will add the css of our front page if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel to get notified about the next videos. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.